And in our last video, I'm going to show you how to do some uh, color coding to help you dissect this information and just think about it a little bit. Uh, obviously, this is a very small data set. Uh, one of the things that you would need to do if you were working on a larger data set is to filter out uh, the transactions that matter the most. So you would filter out the really high support transactions or the really high confidence um, pairings or the really high lifts. You, you need that to sort of filter out and really find the rules that are most interesting. Uh, just to simulate that a little bit, we can use color coding. So if we use conditional formatting in Excel, uh, we can uh, sort of make things stand out that are genuinely um, more interesting in terms of these rules than others. So it's a little bit misleading because um, in some ways the diagonals are going to be sort of the highest values. Um, we could change that by altering how we put these together, but still we can still find some pretty good things along the way. So we're going to just let that be for now. You can see I can color code each of these and talk about um, how to find the high profile rules. So, uh, you know, we can immediately see the areas where the lift is twice as much as where we would expect it. Um, it looks like we also get some, some higher than expected uh, purchasing behavior with uh, orange juice and bacon as well. So this big blue patch here uh, really highlights things that are you know pretty interesting for us. Um, cereal and eggs is you know they're re really purchasing them like you know pardon me cereal and milk we're really purchasing them you know pretty close just a little bit above what we would expect to be purchasing these things at random so that's you know not super interesting and um, you can see that it looks like people are purchasing eggs with milk um, at less than the rate that we would expect at random. So uh, these are probably the, the places that we would look to, to, to really look at those um, pairings that are happening much higher than we would expect just at random. Uh, if we think about uh, you know, some other things that we wanna, wanna look at, um, you know, obviously we've got really high confidence for bacon and eggs. Every time somebody buys bacon, they buy eggs. Um, every time somebody buys orange juice, uh, they buy eggs. So uh, this just sort of, these transactions just sort of stand out as being really important. Um, you know, there are others obviously. So, um, you know, but, but these this is sort of, you know, how we can find those really high profile ones. And uh, then, you know, down at support, we just want to find out, like, what are the frequent transactions, you know, so um, we've talked a lot about, um, you know, eggs and orange juice. Um, we talked about that as having high lift. And, you know, surprise, surprise, people buy eggs and orange juice together in 40% of these transactions. So, uh, the way to think about these metrics is it, it tells you about the interesting pairings, how frequently they occur, and uh, you know which product uh, best predicts the purchase of another uh, product with confidence. So we can really do a lot um, with these metrics and learn a lot about how to organize our store to maximize these sales.